I'm Anthony Eliason from Golden Bee Farms just outside Outlook, Saskatchewan. Uh, this is our farm where we have 5,000 acres, 1,200 of it is irrigated, the rest is dry land. In our area we usually have on average 10 inches of rainfall compared to Saskatoon which is about 13 and the Yorkton is at 14. So irrigation gives us a way to play catch up and give us access to those higher value crops. We pump out of the Seuss Canal, which is what feeds between the Broderick Reservoir and Hanley Brightwater Reservoir. We are allowed to pump out of there 12 inches per acre per year, which most years we don't come close to because we do not need it, but we have that capability. The Broderick Reservoir is filled by the M1 Canal, which is owned by the Water Security Agency. And that comes from Lake Diefenbaker and flows all the way across country to Broderick. We have the four pivots that cover the 1,200 acres and with them we allow us a nice way to have crop rotation, keep everything sustainable. And usually we have more specialty crops on the irrigation like dry beans and fava beans which normally we can't grow on our dry land acres. Two things right now, one I'm checking to see how close my beans are close to emerging out of the soil and two I'm checking the moisture and actually once you get past the soil surface there is some moisture because I can compress ground into a ball. So it's not overly dry, but I am going to put a little bit of moisture on it just to make sure the beans are going to germinate in the large season. So with remote control, I can kind of see exactly where my pivot's sitting and I can control it. So I'm going to tell it to turn my water on and I can adjust how much water I'm going to put on. So I'm going to decide I'm going to put down 0.35 tenths of an inch. And from that, it'll tell the pump to turn on. And once the computer at the pivot point decides there's enough water pressure there, it'll actually tell the pivot to start turning around in a circle. This one pivot here that I just started up, it's a nine tower machine covering 210 acres. Some pivots are set to run faster, some are not. It also depends on your soil type, your water source, and what crop you want to grow. Too much rain at the wrong time can cause a lot of issues with disease. While well, the irrigation in the dry area we only put the moisture down when it needs to be and allows us to have that cleaner product to sell at the end of the year. We still grow the normal crops you would anywhere else like your canola, wheat, barley, even feed corn, silage corn. Uh, soybeans have been a really big the last couple of years so it opens up the avenue to grow. Anything you can grow in Saskatchewan you can grow for irrigation here in Outlook.